The Storm Team Weather Center with Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. A busy weekend for us. Yes, and hopefully we'll have some great weather for all these events, Dave. Weather's not going to be busy. That's some good news. Anytime we get to the weekend, you don't want to hear that, but a lot going on this weekend. And starting tonight, looking pretty quiet out there. Kind of partly cloudy from our BJCC camera. We're in the mid-60s now. Calm wind, still dew point around 50. We've had some fairly dry air out there, so most of us not getting any rain. Had a few showers from Hamilton, Devil Springs, Coleman Air near Aniana and Gadsden early. Earlier, but otherwise pretty dry for us. How about 50 is still showing up on the map? Jasper and Hamilton there at 57. Few sprinkles if they're making it to the ground over towards center for Payne area through Gadsden, Jacksonville area back to Anderson, Heflin. That's about it. Really not much else out there going on as a little disturbance weakens as it runs into that drier air we're just talking about here. Our all cold front that moved through is going to retreat back north. There's a warm front here and watching these disturbances coming right out ahead of it, heading right from northwest to southeast and toward Tennessee and Alabama. So Severe weather is expected to break out the rest of the evening across Oklahoma to Texas. Tomorrow up near Omaha, all the way back down to Texas. That continues across the Great Plains for uh, Saturday and then into Sunday as well. So significant severe weather for those areas. Fortunately, we don't have to deal with any kind of severe weather, but we may have to dodge a sprinkle or two as we head in the next couple of days. So 60s out there this evening. Some clouds, maybe a little fog tomorrow morning as you head to work in school. We'll be in the 50s and 60s. Back to the lower 80s tomorrow. Kind of a mix of sun and clouds. Clouds. Could see a few showers here over northwest and e or northeast and eastern Alabama. So we'll keep an eye out near Gadsden area, Asheville, Talladega, Innocent, maybe up near Fort Payne. Could see a shower or two. Those will get out of there by Friday evening. Saturday, pretty quiet. Again, maybe a sprinkle during the day, but that's really about it. As we're back in the lower 80s with the breezy conditions starting tomorrow into Saturday. We'll continue into Sunday as well, too. And rain total is really not much. Maybe a tenth through the next seven days through Birmingham. A little bit more as you get to the Mississippi, Alabama. Alabama border, so we really could use a little rain out there and I don't have much at all for tomorrow. Not much of anything this weekend, a little bit early next week. Again, daily chance there's a front gets close to us, but not moving through the area. So for Grand Prix weekend, we are looking at 82 and 83 breezy conditions out there at Barber, but looks pretty good for the race on Sunday at 12 noon, 78 degrees for the green flag by the checkered flag. We're at 81 out there, a lot of sunshine, maybe a few high clouds. And really, that's about it. So it looks pretty nice all weekend long. How about that? And then next week, we're still warm Monday and Tuesday, 83 degrees. We'll have a few storms possible each afternoon, so we'll keep an eye out for that. But since the front doesn't move through, we stay warm, actually warmer in the mid 80s, Wednesday and Thursday. That's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.